Hi guys, this is a video to teach you how to successfully prepare your Crossfire TX and your Wi-Fi module to enable multi bind on different Crossfire TX. This first section is the uh, instructions, the written instructions. You can pause the instructions to have a read uh, as a recap because after this you will see a demonstration of how the uh, multibind works and also how to prepare your Crossfire TX and Wi-Fi module for multibind. So I hope you guys like and enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Just remember quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time. How to multibind TBS Crossfire. My example is using the TBS Crossfire micro module on Radio Master TX 16X and TBS Tango 2 both have Wi-Fi module built in. First of all, you have to download and install TBS Agent X. I'll put a link down in the description for you to do that. You need then to register an, an account if you don't have one yet, or log in if you already have an account. As long as you don't log out when you shut down the program, it will always be in login state. Next, connect TBS Crossfire module or TBS Tango 2, depending on which one you want to do first to TBS Agent X. Connect the USB-C cable to the micro module or TBS Tango 2 and connect the other end to the computer. The relevant square panels user interface will light up with a dot green light in the top right corner. You then update your TBS Crossfire module or TBS Tango 2 Again, depending on which one you want to do first. You need to upgrade to TBS Crossfire Firmware 3.72 or higher. Higher version may work. Note, both Crossfire must be on the same firmware. By clicking Manage on the Crossfire Square Panel User Interface, then click on Firmware, and a list of firmware will appear. Then click Update under the Action heading corresponding to the 3.72 firmware version it will update and reboot and you will, you are done preparing the crossfire transmi uh, transmitter leave it connected to the computer next you need to initiate the wi-fi module this is a very crucial step if you don't initiate this properly then the wi-fi module won't go online and you won't be able to multiply so you need to download the firmware from the link uh, that I put in the description below. Since the Crossfire module is power up, the built-in Wi-Fi module is also power up and transmitting. Look under the available Wi-Fi name on your computer. You will find the name of the built-in Wi-Fi module, for example, tbx underscore xf underscore ap underscore a few numbers after that. Click connect and wait for it to connect. Note, my Windows 10 new computer that I bought this year, 2020, was able to connect intermittently, but it's rather unstable, and it will not connect most of the time. It keeps dropping out, so I switched to an older 7-year-old Mac, and it worked. If, if you have the same issues, connecting use, connecting, use an older computer. Just make sure that you have to do this step properly. If you don't do the proper connection, then you won't be able to uh, upgrade your Wi-Fi module and connect to TBS Cloud and activate it. Next, 
you need to update the firmware of the Wi-Fi module to 1.17. Apparently, this is the only version that works. Open your browser and visit 192.168.4.1. Click on the upgrade option on the top middle of the page that open up. Click on select firmware and select the extracted uh, .bin file. Select the folder label 1.17. You will see three folders, Crossfire, Tango 2 and Fusion. Select Crossfire for the module or Tango 2 for Tango 2. Click on Update and wait for a few seconds. The web page will show you update successful after a few seconds. Wait for Reboot. Do not turn off your Crossfire module or radio. You will see a message like Lost Connection. Reconnect the Wi-Fi module as stated previously above. Go to TBS Agile X and you will see that your Wi-Fi module is now 1.17. Next, connect your Wi-Fi module to TBS Cloud. Reconnect to the Wi-Fi module as stated previously above if you haven't done so. Open your browser and visit 192.168.4.1. Click on Wi-Fi on the top of the middle of the page to open up. Click on Scan and then the list of Wi-Fi network will appear. Select your normally used Wi-Fi network and type in your usual password. You will then connect your Wi-Fi module to TBS Cloud. Go to TBS Agent X and click Manage on Wi-Fi module panel and then click About and you will see that the status is now in online state. So you have now prepared both Wi-Fi module and the Crossfire TX for multi-bind. Disconnect from computer and restart. This means that the Wi-Fi module is connected to the TBS cloud and it means that you are now assigned the user ID you need to your account. Go to your radio and go into your Crossfire menu and check under Crossfire TX and you will see the user ID by scrolling to the relevant line. Go to Wi-Fi module on your Crossfire menu and you will see your network name there and online status. The Crossfire TX firmware is now compatible for multi-bind. Next, you need to enable multi-bind. Go to the Crossfire TX in your Crossfire menu on your radio and enable multi-bind. Prepare the second TX for multi-bind by enabling it on the radio through the Crossfire menu. Next, you need to bind your quad. Use any of the Crossfire module or Tangle 2 to first bind your quad after the updates done above. Put your Crossfire TX on bind before you power on your quad. This is to avoid pressing the bind button on the receiver. Then power on your quad. It will start the binding process and ask you to update your receiver without pressing the bind button on the receiver. If this does not work, then press the bind button on the receiver and it will then bind to your Crossfire TX. Power off both the radio and the quad for the next steps. In order for multi-bind to work, all settings on the Crossfire TX and the channel order TAER or AETR or others, radio must be exactly the same. Check the settings on the Crossfire TX that it's used to first bind to a quad after the above process. Open up the settings on the second Crossfire TX and ensure that they are exactly the same as the first one. Because if it is, it is not, then you cannot multi-bind. Check that the mode and the channel order on both radios are the same. Then power up the quad and radio and it should work. So if you Power down your first transmitter and you will power up the second transmitter, it will work and the multi-bind will then multi-bind to your second transmitter. And you can see from uh, the demo video that I have shown you that it works really really well and it's cool if you get this done successfully.